Hey guys, what is up? This is Viper Stealth, and in today's video, I've got two really cool status effect builds to show you. I've got one that's designed for PvE and one that's more designed for trolling in PvP. So, um, if you do want to watch me play, stream pretty much daily, it's twitch.tv forward slash Viper Stealth, and you can subscribe here on YouTube if you prefer your choice. So, let's not waste any of your time, let's get straight into the builds. And the first one up is my PvE build. So the idea here is you want six yellow and uh, what I've gone for is five yellow, one blue and one technician specialization to give me an extra point for six yellows. So let's cover the brand bonuses first. What we want to do is three piece China light and with the three piece China light you're getting not only 10% skill haste but also 10% status effects. So it's really important. You want to spec into all skill haste and status effects. As you can see here on my knees, I've skilled, uh, I've got skill haste recalibrated. On my vest, status effects recalibrated, and on my mask, skill haste recalibrated. So really want to spec into status effects and skill haste. You want to spec into status effects more than skill haste if you had to prioritise one or the other. But either one of those, and you're golden. I've got one piece Hannah Yu and the reason for that is 10% skill haste and again if you notice those attributes you've got status effects and skill haste and then lastly on the bag I've got Golan and this might seem a bit random for you but just having a one piece gives 10% status effects so it's really useful to have. Do try and find a Golan that has high status effects and skill haste already on it because then you can recalibrate towards the uh, armour, you can put that into a yellow and alternatively um, try and look for a talent maybe creeping death uh, this isn't a perfect piece but it's pretty good so i'm using this for now but do try and get creeping death if you can but shock and awe i'll cover that later on another thing that a lot not a lot of players are doing this and i don't know why but an improvised holster is a really good alternative to many other pieces that you could use so the improvised holster comes with a mod slot so that's incredibly useful. It's useful because you can just put 11% plus skill haste mod on there and just keep rolling it at the recalib at the crafting branch until you get something that has skill haste and decent status effects. And then you're laughing. You've got a really good piece there. And in the whole build, what you're looking at is getting the skill haste as quick as possible and the status effects as long as possible. For the talents, I've gone for skilled. So if I get a skill kill, it gives me a 25% chance for an instant skill cooldown. I'll cover why I've gone for that later. And I've also gone for shock and awe here. So when I apply a status effect, my skills uh, get 20% multiplicative damage. So that's nice too. However, you could go for creeping death. Both of them are very viable options. You're going to have a lot of fun with the, both of those talents. So the reason why I've gone for this, let me explain the playstyle. Um, what I do is I've got the gun talent here, perpetuation, so headshots give 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply. So what I do basically is I run into a room, I shoot someone in the head, then I throw my blinder firefly. My blinder firefly, the cooldown base is 19.6 seconds and the blind duration is 24.5 seconds. So that's crazy, it's almost 5 seconds difference, which is an extreme amount of difference and in PvP, you're looking at getting blinded for 10 seconds. Now that's a death sentence in itself if you're blinded in the dark zone for you know 10 seconds and you can't see anything. Against competent agents, you're going down. So I throw my blinder firefly and in missions with NPCs, they're blind for 25 seconds, which is so much time. You can stand in front of them and you're, you're not taking any damage. That procs shock and awe. So then my status effects increase by 20% skill damage. At this point, my blinder firefly is done it's on cooldown and I switch to my chem fire launcher so the fire launcher basically does 500,000 base damage and it burns them for quarter of a million almost every half second so what I'm doing with this chem launcher is I just set the world on fire and then skilled will proc and I'll get you know from a skill kill skilled will proc and then the blinder firefly will be ready before the even cooldown is, is ready so I've always got this blinder firefly by the ready and um, the cooldown is even faster in 19.6 seconds which is insanely fast in itself but this is a really good setup and then if an enemy does push me I just smack them around the head with the the melee of the Sandman talent which kills all non-elite enemies instantly it's got a 15 second cooldown but it's still 
definitely worth it. And if I do want to do an extra bit of damage with my um, chem launcher, I just use this weapon, Perfect Spike, 25% extra skill damage for 8 seconds, so it, it gives me a nice little buff to my fire chem launcher. I do go for the Technician Specialization, and the reason for this is you need your skills at uh, tier 6. And because you've got a golem piece for the status effects, you're going to be at 5. So you want to go for the Technician Specialization to bump you back up to 6 skill tier. And also go for the EMP Grenade because screw Black Task, I hate them. So this is really effective against robots and dogs and all sorts of stuff and machinery that comes out from Black Task. So rock with the EMP Grenade, you're not getting much more benefit out of going for the standard Concussion Grenade on this build. So go for the EMP Grenade, you're much better off doing that. So this is my status effect blinder build in PvE. I have great fun on this and if you have one of these in your squad in PvE, it makes me so easy because the enemies aren't shooting back at you. Now I want to cover a build that I use occasionally in PvP. I call it Fuego which is a Spanish for fire. It's my pyro build and it's a really fun build to use. Um, of course it's not the strongest PvP build that you can use in you know DZ and Conflict but it's a fun build to use and if you do want to look at a pyro build this is probably the strongest version of that that you can put together. So let me explain why. We've got the uh, talent here of Spike. If you want to, um, it's, it, you know, you won't be using your pistol much, but it's useful to have as a, a sidearm. The two weapons I've got is Perfect Perpetuation, so headshots give 50% status effect damage, and I've also got Perfectly Ignited. So um, let me go through the brand pieces first. I've gone for two-piece Hanayu, skill haste, skill damage, 10% each. I've gone for two-piece Wyvern, skill damage, status effects, 10% each. And I've gone for one piece China Light, which is 15% explosive damage, but I've gone for perfect shock and awe. So even though I'm not using the benefit of 15% explosive damage, getting perfect shock and awe, it contributes for that. And I've also got decent status effects and skill damage on this build. With the mask, do try and find something that rolls skill damage and status effects. Those are the attributes that you're specking into with this build. So try and make your status effects and skill damage as high as possible. If you find a piece of Golan that already comes with skill damage and status effects, you are laughing because then you can just recalibrate the core attribute and you don't need to run a technician specialization. You can run the um, fire, the fire specialization. I'll, I'll cover why you use that soon. So all of these brand bonuses contribute to a really nice status effect duration and you can see that in PvP even, my PvP blind duration is 9.2 seconds, which is a very healthy blind duration and this is before perfect perpetuation, so that adds even more blind duration onto this. I've tested it on my mates and they see a completely white screen they see a label above the agent's heads but that's pretty much it so if you're behind a car or something they see nothing it's just a pure white screen for nine seconds so it can be incredibly scary the other skill that i've gone for is the fire chem starter and the reason why i've gone for the fire chem you know the fire starter chem launcher is because it's a pyro build and if you notice that, my PvP damage is 700,000, over 700,000. And the PvP burn damage is 50,000, kind of a tick, which is every kind of half second. So it's a really decent amount of fire damage. Now I ramp this up to around 1.1 million fire damage when I pop my chem on people by using two skills that are both multiplicative. So I've got the uh, perfect shock and all that you saw a second ago. Applying a status effect gives 20% skill damage which is really nice. So applying a status effect is super easy. I just throw a blinder firefly at them and it procs this. And 27 seconds is more than enough time to finish off the agent in front of you um, by teaming up with a glass cannon. So you get 25% extra amplifi you know, amplified damage which is multiplicative. So the fire chem launcher you're looking at 1.1 million damage per pop. So if you're looking for a break from the standard typical DPS builds and you do fancy using a pyro build, you can't really go wrong with this. Yes, you do take a lot of damage from glass cannon. Do not face tank agents in conflict and PvP. I'm not saying you know you should do this. It's more of a kind of hang back, blind people and then just set them on fire and just watch them toast themselves in a beautiful blaze of barbecue. Uh, these two talents really do stack up quite nicely together. So these are all my two status effect builds. I really hope you enjoy them. If you want to watch me stream Viper Stealth on Twitch, that's twitch.tv forward slash Viper Stealth and you can subscribe here on YouTube to see my edited videos. Thank you very much guys. Have a great day.